Let's look at how to convert between interval and plus minus notation when we're dealing with confidence intervals. A lot of times we're going to see the interval notation because that's how our calculator outputs it. So you might see something like this. Open parentheses 7.9979 comma and then another number 11.002. In order to write this in plus minus notation, we're going to write it as the mean, the best guess at the mean, plus or minus the standard error. How much error in either direction. And in order to do that, we're going to start with the mean that we're given. Usually your output of your calculator is going to have something like this. It's going to say x bar is equal to something. That's always your middle value. So whenever it says x bar equals something, that's exactly halfway in between the two values that you're given. So the first part of our thing that we're going to write here, our mean, is simply just going to be 9.5. Plus or minus the standard error. Now to find the standard error, all you have to do is take uh, either end of your uh, confidence interval, so let's say we'll pick the upper end, and subtract away the mean. So in order to do that, we take our upper end minus the mean, which would be 11.002, minus our 9.5, and we're going to get 1.502. So our mean, 9.5 plus or minus 1.502, would be how we would rewrite this confidence interval right up here into the plus minus notation. So we call this interval notation up here, because it is an interval from this to this. And we call this, uh, at least I call this plus minus notation right here, because we have the center plus or minus the amount of standard error. Now sometimes we want to translate backwards. We have plus minus notation and we want to translate it into interval notation. To do that we just simply solve, we do the math that it says here. We're going to add and we're going to minus, we're going to subtract. So we're going to break it into two equations. Top equation 43.8 plus 7.4 if we do that in our calculator, we'll get 51.2. Same idea down here, except we're going to subtract, um, because we're going to do 1 plus 1 minus. 43.8 minus 7.4 is going to be 36.4. So our confidence interval in this problem here, if you were to rewrite it in interval notation, it would go from 36.4 to 51.2. And that's how you switch back and forth between the two different forms.